Hello there. So in this video, I want to share with you my top best AI generated uh, paid services. And I have a video before where I share some free where you can get created. But you know what? Nothing come for free. You will need to pay one way or another. And usually paid services, they will provide better stability, high resolution, better algorithms to understand text to image and plus all those additional options. And of course, from all of the tools we're going to look right now, my favorite is a mid journey. It's no secret. It's because the resolution they provided quality of the generated images as well. Accessibility to those images, how I can download it, how I can search and collection. But we'll look on those in a second. So here's example how I, for example, use it, the AI generated. And right here we can see our image, its final image. And it's all started with a simple photo shot in a studio with a Star Wars Comet fam themed photo shoot. Okay, and next, this is an image, put it inside the Photoshop. I isolated by using pen tool, the main figures. Next, we're using backdrop. And this backdrop render in mid journey, I have plenty of the different themed backdrops render. And I found the mid journey actually create very, very beautiful backdrops. Uh, just for the theme it this way. If you want landscape, I'll show you in a second what other ones tool I used a lot to create concept art if I need it for the backdrop. So and right here we have the backdrop, also all additional elements I can render there. For example, right here we have very blur on the background, on the foreground, sorry. But if I render additional components and overlay them, they can present much better effect and you can see right here we start compositing start adding all these additional elements here all these elements the next we can import our model inside add the shadows by the foot so it's a little bit you know tight foot to the ground but again if you have an element like right here it's too sharp we need it integrated with environmental haze and fog so we can go ahead and add those elements the fog and the haze, you also all the renderings inside the uh, different AI applications. And again, go up front a little bit, add and our colored touch up and everything on the end. So we have uh, this element where we can take a model and we can put it where I use this. I use it for the posters I'm using for uh, book covers, illustrational elements, and also just for the client because if client wants some like created some digital art, you can create much faster. Can I draw all of this? Yes, I can. And I know some people say, yeah, artist, not artist. I do like painting oil. Actually, some work you can see behind me. I still, I do all this traditional art, but we speak about the time creation and how easy to create. It's a save your time. So this is, can create much faster than I can do by hand drawing and it's still great great result great background so overall elements of the ai work can component and compromise and work together um, let's look what kind of components for example with compositing i created and one of the best way to look it's on my gum road and i'll put it link below for those who are interested that's why actually I create some backdrop stuff and I sell. And people are like, do I just create it and put them for sale? Yeah, I create it, but you know what? I create them first for myself. It's what I do. For example, Heavenly Clouds. I done a lot of theme at Photoshoot, for example, Angels. And I do a lot of overlay like clouds, Heavenly Clouds, everything. And it's a perfect. This one was generated precisely round, whatever I needed. What I done before, of course, before I used to gone um, to invento elements or other and just to search images there and I hope you can find something that closer related to. And it's actually very hard. If you done any commercial works or if you done any compositing, anything, search for an image. It is very hard because you find something is not there, something. So you need to take several images and combine them together. Now, if you have it, uh, AI, you can go and pre-create those images that precisely you wanted. This is actually huge help, huge tools if you use it properly. An example right here, you can see I create clouds and nebulous. I always used it in my sci-fi 
to overlay backgrounds, overlay colors, some magic. We did this for Halloween photo shoot, was great. Uh, space again, backgrounds, neon. I do a lot of steampunk, neon punk, so it's a great backdrop. You can see also isolated elements and so on. So it's created multiple, all of these different backgrounds. Do I create just AI backgrounds? No. For example, right here done in a view, I create a lot of digital backgrounds for the Paintly work. And so, so it's not just a single use tools, but it is create much easier and more defined. I can create it versus going in a stock photography and try find some image created there. So let's go ahead and look right now on some tools or some um, services that I'm using. Number one, like I said before, it is Mid Journey. Mid Journey, I like it for several reasons. One, it is stability of applications, quality of the render, and easy to use. Beside it, with web interface, I can go inside and select images that I wanted, categorize them, and use it. That does design a little bit easy for me to use. And but one thing you need to keep it in mind. It is one of the more expensive services there. Your basic plan begin with a $10 a month, which allowed you some limited generation of images. Um, however, personally, I run on a 30 month because it's allowed me unlimited on relax mode to create images so I can create as many as I wanted. And it's plus 15 hours fast generation. And tell you true, I almost never Actually, I lose about seven hours. I, I lose a lot of hours monthly because I don't actually use the fast hours. Relax mod work for me just fine. And of course, they have a new pro plan, which is included more hours. But most important is have a stealth image generation. And stealth image generation has been people cannot see it. Like in this, in some cases, they can go to my um side and they can see what I have done. So they can copy string and everything. And sometimes maybe you don't want this for commercial work, but we also have it our commercial. If we work on a concept for the movie or other things, we don't want people to see. So you want to go and get a stealth plan on this so nobody can see your string. This is one way to do. And uh, that is very uh, my top service that I like to use. But do I use only this one? No, I used multiple different services because as I said before, each of them have it their own uniqueness or a nice way to use. The another things that I will recommend for you, it is Art Breather. I used a lot of Art Breather to creating background scene. For example, if we have a concept art for the landscape or anything, it's a great way to start the point. You can very easy go mix landscape, create a very unique landscape with all settings, save on high resolution, and then use it after in a post-processing in a compositing or po overlay painting or other elements. And if you've done a little bit, you can see how it's a great, great tool. It does have it with dry and minuses. It's a very much painting effect. It's not truly photorealistic. However, it does produce such a great result. I used a lot of this as a backdrop in uh, images. And as well, you can even use this as a backdrop in your 3D rendering. So instead creating all this back, back, back scenery, you can just take this image, put it way far on the back, add a haze, and it will create great image in your um, environmental rendering and as well art breather provide the character design personally I don't do so much character design but I know a lot of people with whom I work they're using art breather to generate character outfit and other things um, just as a concept for the character creation so another one's very good tool in a specific area overall Dali is not impress me by how it's creating algorithm and everything. However, Dali have it one strong part. And for example, like right here, when I need created isolated explosion, smoke or something, it can create very easy for me. And best off, I can take each of them. And if I don't like any segment, I can actually out painting or in painting to create perfect smoke or a haze for me. As example, right here, you can see this smoke and haze with the round. It was directly created inside the DALI. So this is those elements that I create and use it. The couple problems with DALI I have, and it's not related 
at this moment to render it's related most to this watermark because dali is not free you need buy credits and i'm buying credits and they allowed me commercially use but if i pay and i if i pay for usage i paying for the image to create everything why you stick your watermark on my image i will remove it but it's give it additional step and i personally i really don't like for the paid credits when they added watermarks here as well resolution is still 512 by 512 you can out painting to create bigger or you can use upscale like a topaz uh, gigapixel or other elements what i'm using uh, to upscale the image and by the way i will provide link below for those who are interested but it's again it's a little bit smaller size as original when it's render so another one is actually perform not bad it's a dream generator you do need again purchase credits here as well but you can see it when we have it exactly the same line with the sparks all the stuff it does create nice overlay tools so we can use it as well i'm not necessarily using this tool all the time maybe a couple times but generically because the other tools will provide same result um, this is kind of okay for me but if you're interested you can use it this one the another tool which is work very well paid tool you can create some for free but nice it is canvas and reason is why i use it canvas it's you can render images but the best of you can see how you can overlay them so if you need create very fast concept with elements to showing how the backdrop maybe with explosions with persons something like to visually like almost storyboard but it's more uh concept draw storyboard maybe imagery storyboard then it's a very nice way you can create it you can share with your team showing uh all this installation so it's kind of work very very well in this case the another tool i used kind of before but i stopped using it is a right sonic they have it for the sonic and the reason that i'm kind of start having a problem because you can see i purchase credits but they disappear all the time i need contact tech support they restore them and it's done so many times to the point i i personally i kind of recommended before but now it's off my recommendation list and one more tool i want to show you it is stable diffusion and i know some people say stable diffusion is free you can use it however as i said before nothing come for free so what i'm meaning by this you can go for example in dream studio and you can see it's created excellent uh, work and you can select different stable diffusion versions and try render if you're using their own dream studio light you do need purchase credit so it's a pay service you can run a locally if you want it you can install as the automatic a automatic 111 installations or you can use it as an invoke installation either way you can run locally why i put this as purchase because you will need good video card and in my case because i do some other stuff it's not just dedicated for this but it was cost about thousand dollars for the 3090 video card which is you know if you put it with me journey it's about two years of the service to pay for the render and uh, again you use the home nobody see it this so you don't need to worry they buy the 60 dollar plan or other things but quality it's still be not yet there because uh some models is not as excellent you know it's having some problems but just in case if you want you can still do this at home but you will still pay secondary prices it's meaning you will need better video card to process and it will require some additional knowledge for you to kind of create it and my honorable mention um, it is night cafe the reason is night cafe provides so wide variety of the um access to engine it's not just when you create you can create with a stable diffusion dali so it's all in one pack if you don't want to run around you can go and create background and stable diffusion and some separate explosion component with dali so it's all in one nice pack and of course the night cafe has it before it's one of the best free because it's provide free credits you can do it but if you start constantly producing you will run out of credits quite a bit fast so you will need to purchase those additional credits to using here but they are produced and some of course don't produce very good you can see kind of silly explosions but like right here when you use a dali 
same isolate explosion you can see it's got very very well overlay or you can use it stable diffusion or, or other versions to create nice backdrops for your uh, work and this is about tools um what i'm using with creating as ai art of course it's much more involved in this to creating for example the photoshop it's what i'm using as my primary compositing you may use a different luminar or some other applications to do those things as well additional tools that i'm using it is gigapixel labs with the uh, upscaling this tool you almost like must have it because the resolution was producing the so small and normal scaling when you do inside the photoshop it does not produce nicely even photoshop using their own ai and i'll put a link to the video above so you can check that um my review on some of those upscalers this one produced the best result for me as well uh, so this one tools i'm using and as well additional tools inside like photoshop for example they are anaric to create all this glowing nice effect all this is up to additional tools so you never work just with one thing it's uh, almost never you will have one magical one then you swing and it's created maybe in the future with all technologies how it's produced maybe we will have those magical ones but at current state it is a, just a tool and this is uh, my final <laughs> kind of on this video's final words what i was saying people saying ai art it's a stealing and all the stuff and they're saying it's horrible it's decreasing creativity and all the stuff and it's a biggest bs it's a coming from the people who does not understand technology who does not understand how new tool work who's scared of new tool and they think it's stealing it's not stealing it is truly if you understand it is creating based on somebody's styles and if people saying that is their style i will recommend check the work and be sure their style does not base it on other people's style you know human civilization is created for thousands and thousands of years here and all our knowledge or our creativity everything is based on somebody knowledge who already lived before us so thank you for watching this videos i hope we find this enjoyable and helpful please let me know if you have some tools that you like to use and share with other people thank you for watching have a great time to create